We're back with episode 37 of Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. So anyways, let's get into the game because so let's do this a little time to do so. Okay, last episode we finally found the Death Horse. 
finally, after who knows how long we, we were searching for it, finally found it. And we actually found it around the same area where we found the previous horse? Or no? No, actually it was the second horse we found. Yeah, so we found War Horse and we found... Oh gosh, I see, I goof this up every time. It's either uh, Famine or, or Pestilence. Whichever one is in Mexico. Whichever one we found second, in that same spot, is where we found the Death Horse. Well, almost same spot. I mean, it was around the same area. But either way, we finally found the Death Horse. Yes, it's finally done. Finally, finally, finally done. Anyways, last episode, we then continued to work on and then finish the Undead Hunter Challenges. Which I also showed in the video a super, super, super easy way on how to... Uh, Finish the Undead Hunter challenges, so if you need tips on uh, how to finish that one challenge where you have to kill two bears, three cougars, and five wolves with a torch, definitely check out last episode. Yeah. Anyways, last episode we continued to look for more rare creatures. Uh, one that was kind of like a hyena, but I'm not actually sure what it is. Uh, it, the, no, the name is in the game in last episode. I'm not going to try to uh, pronounce it because it's just... I, I think the trophy itself for the th uh, for the um, creature was Chuppa Thingy, or whatever it was, so... Yeah. Anyways, last episode we also found a rare horse called the Unicorn. Now, here's the thing. I actually goofed up some info in last episode. I had said, by mistake, and note, sorry about that, uh, I had said that the Unicorn would basically only spawn once, and if you don't keep it, then you lose it. Well, oops, I had, I, I looked at that up on the internet after last episode, because I was, like, second-guessing myself there, like, wait a minute, did I get that info right? <laughs> wait a minute, is there a way to still get the unicorn afterwards, you know, after you break it for the first time? And actually, you can refine the unicorn in the same spot, and... I'm assuming you have to break it again. I'm not entirely sure about that. I I've never done it myself, so that that's why I didn't actually know about it until I looked it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, yeah, so so you can get the unicorn again. If, if you don't want to keep it at that one point, uh, whenever you first find it, that's okay. You can find it again later on. And also, I was also wrong about another stat, which actually, I this I also did not know. And again, sorry for misinformation on this, uh, but I found this part out while I was looking at the other part. So, it turns out that there is one actual specialty with the Unicorn. Apparently, and again, this is what Google says, so I don't, I don't know for sure whether or not this is 100% or whatever. But the point is, the Unicorn special stat is, it is supposedly the fastest horse in the game. Which, I didn't know that. So, that's like news to me. <laughs> Almost makes you want to have the <laughs> keep the Unicorn, because, wow, fastest horse in the game, whoa. <laughs> Um, but now I gotta stick with my war horse, like I said the last episode, so, yeah, there's that. Alright, well anyways, as for this episode, this episode we are going to, let's see, we have, well, let me just say what we have left, okay? We have four more treasure hunter challenges to go, which is basically just find the treasure chest in four more locations, which we can do really, really fast because I, I have the maps and, and everything. So, yeah, that that's not going to be a problem. Actually, that'll be the first thing we're going to work on. Uh, after that, we have two side missions to do. One that we've already started and just need to finish, and another one which I don't even know where it's at. We have three more missions to go, which then we'll be done with the story. And then we have one more cemetery to go, which I'm assuming will be done during the story itself. So technically, we're almost done with the game. And with that being said, this might be the final episode. Now, as of right now, at this point in time for myself, I don't know whether this is the final episode. But here's the thing. You do. By simply looking at the title of the video, if it says episode 37, then that means this is not the final episode. But if it says final episode, then that means it's final. So, hey, spoilers, come on. <laughs> you know something before me. What the hey? All right, well, anyways, uh, as for our total completion stat, we are at 85% right on the dot. So, yeah, I'm, I, I feel like this is going to be the final episode. But, again, I don't know. But you do. So, anyways, let's get moving. So we have things to do. And this time, I have to remember to make sure to make an alternate save file right after we finish the undead treasure hunter challenges 
so that I don't have the yeah. same mistake that I did in the main game where I forgot to make a save file before the epilogue. Yeah. Oh, also, there is one other thing. Actually, wait a minute. Can I just... Eh, screw it. Let's go on foot. Uh, there is one other thing. Oh, wait a minute. No, I can't do it right now anyways. What time is it? Uh, okay, we'll have to do it later. Uh, there is one other thing I want to do in this episode, which is... Oh, yeah, I'm working on fast travel anyway. Sorry about that. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, sorry. Keeping it worth myself. Stop it. <laughs> uh, there is one other thing I want to do in this episode, which is during nighttime in the game, I need to go to ba back to Blackwater and check the clock and see how much time passes per real-life second per in-game minute. Okay, so... We already figured out that daytime is what three real life seconds, um, or no? Hold on, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> yes, three seconds in real life is a minute in. Oh, good gosh! What happened? <laughs> Armadillo just became became under attack while I'm just sitting here. Well, that was actually a good thing on a bet. Wait, what happened on this one? I didn't hit him. Um. Yeah, so it was good thing because, hey, we're here. We don't have to go out of our way. Bad thing because, well, it's another attack. Wait, I don't even see the markers. What? Oh my god, look how many there is. What is going on here? Kaboom. I'm dead. I am so dead. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Oh no, 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 get off him, get off him. Wait. Which one's which? Oh. <laughs> Are you. Just glad I got it in time. Wow. Wait a minute, why do the shots look green? Wait, what? Hold on. It looks like it has a green trail behind the, the bullet. I might just be seeing things. I don't know. Oops. That's too far. What? It's not tagging someone. Let's try this. There we go. <laughs> Even that's not working. Whoa! Hey, don't be hitting me while I'm trying to change guns. Shame on you. Wait, is there going to be a limit to this since there's no gauge at the top? Or is this gonna, just going to be infinite?
Hey, you shot him in the shoulder. There's the head. Yeah, I think it's bugged. Oh, shoot, I shot my horse. finish we might have to actually reload the game and then re fast travel over to you oh Horsey. Oh no! Yeah, I fully believe it's bugged. <laughs> it should have been done by now. <laughs> That's what it sounds like a little bit.
Wait a minute. I don't know. It just it, it briefly looked like it was green. I don't know. Whoa! Alright, just a little bit more than I'll reload here. There's one more thing I want to do. Which is... That. What was that all about? Oh, what? Town's been saved. I'm gonna have to still reload anyways. I just wasted all my stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't you just love that blue flame? That's nice. That is real nice. Yeah, I gotta reload. <laughs> I just used up everything. Because <laughs> that's what I was doing. That's what, um, yeah, so I went to load. Uh, it's just that since I was fully intending on reloading the game, I was just trying to use up everything that we had. You know, so you could basically see a little bit of gameplay from all the different uh, stuff. Uh, okay, if I go over there now, it should be okay, I hope. Yeah. Alright, now it should be a few minutes, maybe, I don't know, well, less than ten anyways. Before that time comes under attack. Okay, anyways, now that we can get back to what we're supposed to be doing. For whoops. For treasure undead treasure hunter rank two. Here's the map. Which I thought was in a completely different spot. But anyways, the location is... Right... There. Yeah. It's an odd one, but... Uh, yeah, so let's go to it. Let's go! Why do I even try? Why? Just why? Why why do I even try? Truly pathetic. Anyways, alright, so as to how we get up there, well, it looks like I just found the route, <laughs> uh, which is located right there. Come on. 
Whoops. And the treasure should be... Oh, there it is. Okay, now for rank three. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Uh, so I was thinking something else. Uh, something we'll come across later on here. Anyways, okay, so for the next treasure map, this is the map itself. And the location is... Right about... There. Okay, so we have a little bit of a a jog, if you will, <laughs> ahead of us, so this could take a few minutes. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, it started raining. This was around the point whenever... Oh, wait, that's right. We... It would actually be longer than what I said. Because when we fast travel... Oh, wait, no, 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 we still fast travel. Hmm. See, the town should have come under, but under attack by now. Very, very odd. Because, see, at last couple times we've had that happen, or I've had to reload the game, the same town would, well, come under attack, you know, X amount of minutes afterwards. So. I don't know. Uh, well, no, you know what? I think it was actually more like 15 minutes. But no, no, still. Still should. Should have been under attack by now. Okay, now we're arriving at the destination. Hey. 
right, let's leave the horse here. Um, let me just look at the map again real quick to see specifically where this thing's at. Uh, let's see if we're looking at. So we want to go. Oh, okay, I see. We want to go up there. Yep, there it is. Okay, that completes that one. Now the last two will <clears throat> the last two will be in Mexico. Okay, so this one says reward is ammo, health item, and dead eye item. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so for the map itself. Okay. And for the location. Should be right about there. Okay. Yeah, see, there's the cemetery, and then pretty much just straight south of the cemetery. And, of course, this is yet again going to be a bit of a trip here, so this is going to take another few more minutes. Okay, we're about halfway there. There's the armadillo attack. Let's go. Yeah, we'll tend to that later. Yeah. Actually, we'll tend to that right after we finish the undead treasure hunter. Okay, we're almost there.
Okay, so there's the cemetery right up on our left. Now if we go south from that... the horse will let us go down the hill. What does this not seem right? Oh, it's in between the trees, not be <laughs> behind them. Whoopsies. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so there's the first set of trees over there. This is the second set, and it should be right... Right between these trees somewhere. So like here, need a light. <laughs> uh, okay, why am I not seeing... Oh, here it is. If we... If, oh, for crying out loud. If I was on this side, I would have seen it. Yeah, so... Hello. Actually, wait, let's change that. Wow, your aim sucks. But Marston's aim is better. Anyways. Okay, so, yeah, this is the second set of trees coming from the cemetery. And second set of trees between the... Well, these two, anyways. <laughs> okay, there we go. That one is done. Now, for the last one, it's not going to be that far away. That's more like it. However, it's going to be a little tricky to get to the last one. Crazy dog. Ow. Better off dead. Okay. So, it says, increased carry capacity for all items and ammo. Whoa. That's nice. That is nice. You know what? If I had known that, I would have gotten that a long time ago. Rats. Well, I mean, it, does, it doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter. But, still. <laughs> okay, so as for the map itself. Here's the map. Oh, okay, so we can get to it from below. I was thinking we had to get to it from above. Okay, that, that'll that work. That'll work. Horsey. Come on, horsey. There you go. Oh, I missed it. Hold on. It's not getting away that easy. There we go. Kaboom. Okay, so as for this destination, it is right about... There. Okay. So yeah, it's not that far away from the previous one. Yeah. Which is interesting. So, both the main game and the Undead Nightmare Treasure uh, locations, out of all of them, not one was in that one location I mentioned in, well, two episodes now, which was right here. Yeah. I remember getting something there. Unless it was with the online uh, mode of the original game. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah.
Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, okay, so I see a route over there, but our X is over here. Um, I also see a route over there. Okay, so there's actually two ways to get up there. However, which way is safer? Huh. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's try this side. So again, this is where we're at. The route so you can go up look to be like around here and around there. Okay, horse, you're gonna need to stay here. Please and thank you. Now stay. I know it's difficult for you, but just stay here and try not to do anything stupid. Uh oh. Ha! Okay, 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 I can't I can't get up there. Oh no! Oh, this is to this is terrible. Oh, no! <laughs> that bird's falling again. Marston, stop sliding. All right, we'll get it eventually. Okay, apparently I'm, I might need the horse for this. Horsey, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We're going to need to ball you for this part. Ellie... There it goes. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. This is not the way to go. This is definitely not the way to go. Let's go the other side. <laughs> Massive fail. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's a camp. Okay, let's try this side. Up. Oh, come on. You can do it. Come on, RC. Get up there. <laughs> you silly horse. Get up the hill. Yes! Finally! Okay. Watch, I'm probably in the wrong spot. It's probably up there. <laughs> oh, no, no. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Well, wait, 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 wait. Hold the phones here. How are you supposed to normally get up to this area? Unless you're supposed to go, like, a longer way around. Like, maybe way over there or something? Or way over there? Horse, I hate to say it, but uh, I don't know how we're going to get you down. But anyways, again, location right there. And done. Ah, the horse just wanted to be in the final scene here. Come on. Would you looky here? Okay, so that completes all the undead... Treasure Hunter, and that should unlock the outfit. All right, Mad Marston, the Trail Warrior. Legend of the Apocalypse menu entry completed. Attain rank five in all undead nightmare challenges. So, yay, finally. Yeah, the only thing that's sitting in there is that, and it's just gonna forever sit in there. As I've already explained in past episodes, yeah. Okay, so, there is the Legend of the Apocalypse outfit. We'll go ahead and check that out in just a little bit. First, we have a town to save. <laughs> if I can get back up here to my horse. Oh, don't you dare slide. Okay, now getting down should be a little bit easier, right? There you go. Come on. You know what? Let's actually hold off on the town for just a minute. Yeah, let's hold off on that for just a minute. First, let's work on the side mission here. Get this get this one done. Which actually, let me just mark on my checklist here. Yeah, that one. Let's have a little chat with Landon Ricketts. Which, this might use up some of our dynamite, if I'm thinking correctly here.
Mr. Ricketts. Hello, sir. How have you been? As you imagine. Good. Did you get the dynamite? Yes. Mm. And the bait. Huh. Let's see. Let's work with that for a second. Ah, uh, this, uh, calls for a soft touch. Not the brutish hands of a man of war, but the delicate touch of an artist. Some, uh, use oils, and some a chisel and a block of marble. For me, sir, it, uh, was always either high explosives or the trigger of a fine iron. But it's much the same. Sometimes your humility overwhelms me, Ricketts. <laughs> you and me both, Mr. Marston. Now, if you'd have seen me when I was a young man, if you'd have seen me when I was so fast, you couldn't see me. Well, then you'd know this is humility. The truth is, well, the truth is long dead. Now we got only memories. Memories and a great swath of demonic mutants, of course. <laughs> Have you heard anything? I heard a man in Chicago was writing a biography of me. And can you believe it? An artist in Pittsburgh painted my portrait. I mean, the demonic hordes. Not your own unending glory. No. Oh. <laughs> that. Nothing too interesting. Someone said that there's some really big problems near Escalera. But I can't concern myself too much with that. This is my home now. This, and this up here. Take care of yourself. I will. I don't think getting savaged by some brainless corpse would do too much justice to your myth. <laughs> yeah, I think you're teasing me, Mr. Marston. But I thank you. And I appreciate your concern nonetheless. Okay, there we got a new weapon type. Uh, it says boom bait works like undead bait, but it blows up after a few seconds. Uh, the only problem is we can't make dynamite, so... Wow, you'd have to be really, 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 uh, careful with this, then. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. Now, if we could make dynamite, then sure. Wait, we can't, or can we? No. No, no. Okay, there's the next story mission, but we're not doing that just yet. I feel like there's supposed to be one more side mission. Hmm. Maybe that doesn't open up too after we complete the next main mission. Maybe. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's travel to Armadillo. Save our armadillo again, then travel to Blackwater, and check the clock, because I really want to see that. I want to see how long it takes during the night, you know. Wait, where am I going? Wait. We have a different room now? Oh, check that out. Okay, armadillo. Wow. We're pretty far. Horsey. 
Okay, this shouldn't take too long. As long as the bar shows up at the top of the screen. Oopsies. Well, at least the survivor's on the roof this time. Oh, there we go. Now it showed up. Yeah, that was weird. That glitched earlier. Okay, one more person. Whoa, what are you doing aiming your gun at me? Okay, now we just have a few more undead go. Well, okay, there's actually quite a lot. One more. And almost got ran over by a horse. Okay. Let's grab the ammo, and then we'll be on our way. Okay, there we go. We're done here. Ooh. I think I went too far. Nope. We're good. Okay, destination. Blackwater. Should be nighttime. Nope, it's daytime. Wow. Well, I was not expecting that one. Okay, so I'm assuming it's probably getting close to four in the afternoon. Yeah, it's about three. Forty-three, three forty-four, somewhere around there. Uh, so yeah, if we save one more time, that'll be in the nighttime. Whoa, what the. Before we do, what? 
Uh, is the clock broke or do I just... Oh, you need to get close enough for... Okay. Is it working? Okay, there it goes, there it goes. Wait, now it looks like it's four seconds. Wait, what? Hold on, let me get an actual uh, stopwatch here. Hold on. Uh, oh, that works. Okay, so... It's like between three and four, because whenever I stopped at uh, with my stopwatch here, I'm at 3.95. But you figure I probably like started it after it switched. Well, no, that would have been the same for both. Uh, so it, we'll just say it's it's about four seconds, okay? Whereas I thought it was actually three. Even though technically you, uh, it would still be okay by saying three seconds. Nah, let's go with four. Okay, so four seconds uh, for the daytime. And let's see what it is for night. Drug. It's just I've been saying we were going to do this at some point, and I better do this now just in case if this is the final episode. Uh, yeah. Gotta, gotta do this. Whoops. Wrong room again. I don't know why I keep going that one. Okay, save game. And actually, this is where I want to make a separate save. Even that, well, even that I kind of want, want it somewhere else, but... Eh. Well, I can still update it later. Uh, yes. Okay, so now it is... About 10.30. At night. So, let's see what the clock is showing now. Midnight! That's what it's showing? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> kind of silly how, how we have to get real close to this. Oh, it looks like it's going faster. Whoa, it is going faster. Wait, what? Okay, let me get that stopwatch again. Hold on. I accidentally closed it. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Two seconds! Yeah, okay, so four seconds for day, two seconds for night. But yeah, in the main game, it was five seconds per day. And... Actually, hold on. Two... Second, put in some notes. Yeah. Alright, save. So unless I had it wrong in the in the base game, because yeah, the base game I've listed it and I've listed in my notes here that five seconds equals daytime. Two seconds equals nighttime. Whereas in the Undead Nightmare, it's four seconds per day, two seconds for night. I didn't mean per day, but yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, okay, so that means single player, or sorry, main game is either four seconds or five seconds. I might have just miss, you know, I might have gotten it wrong. Uh... And I could have sworn it was definitely five seconds. I think I tried a couple different times. Alright, well, either way, at least I now know that nighttime is actually the same speed as it was in the base game. So, must be that's news to me. Because in Undead Nightmare, it seems like it's night longer. Unless... The sunset and sunrise is different times, because take note, the sunrise in the main game is at, well, around. Note, around. I'm not, we weren't actually sure about the exact point, because I don't think I, 
Oh, no, I don't... No, I never came over here to see the exact point the sun comes up. So, I figured it was around 6.05 a.m. when the sun rises. Now, as for when the sun sets, I never actually looked into that. Because that really wasn't uh, a main important thing for the base game. But, <laughs> well, now for the Undead Nightmare, I kind of wish I had that information. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> we need to uh, fast travel again. Okay, so we need to fast travel down here to do the next story mission. Which now would be a good point to... Well, actually, no. You know what? I'm going to save down there. That way, in case if something goes wrong, well, we won't have far to go. Okay, now we need to save. Whoops. And now we can continue the main game. Or, story. Sorry. <laughs> I got so used to saying main game, you know, from talking about the... Well, main version of the game. That I said that by mistake. Oops. Hola. Yeah, so there's not much left. Now, as of this point right now, we are at 91% complete. Wow. Sister, I've done as you asked. Bless you. But it's not sister. It's Mother Superior. Mother Superior Calderon. Our bishop was a stickler for regulations. <laughs> Until he got sick last week and ate half of the cathedral choir boys. I'm sorry. I only mention it because my girls are laughing at you calling me sister. What do you think is causing all this? Hmm. Déjame ver. Mexico is an old country. Many faiths have lived and died here. Many evil spirits have flourished. I have no idea what is afflicting the people here. But I know it is a sickness of the soul. Something supernatural, maybe. Certainly nothing rational. Perhaps if you were to get me a live one of these creatures, we could try a couple of experiments. Certainly. Get me a new one. One who was recently human. I want to work with a subject who has only recently turned. I'll see what I can find for you. Gracias, señor. <laughs> Cállense. No puedo creer cómo se portan. All right, bring a normal undead this to Mother Superior. Nonsense. That should be easy, right? Come on. Wait, why is it showing the marker in there? Oh! Uh, it's just showing where we're supposed to take the undead. Eh, 
There we go. Whoops! I hit the triangle button. I guess I was too close to the horse. Time to relax, my undead pal. Okay, I'm glad that was easy. <laughs> Time to go. We're in a bit of a rush. I don't think the zombie liked that. He won't stop moaning about it. Have no fear, Marston is here. Whoops. Superior. I think I have a test case for you. Senor Marston, you're a true pilgrim. That I ain't. Hmm. Now let's see. Well, it certainly isn't the flu. Their eyes are so devoid of love, of, of anything. Oh, lively one I see. Here. What is that? Holy water. I think we may have something. It seems to be working. Maybe. Maybe not. But it seems as if you were nearly saved. Spiritual infections are confusing things, Senor Marston. None of us can hope to understand them properly. But he came back for a minute. I bless the water, but perhaps my faith is not that strong. I have to do more thinking, but I need time. Every day, more of my people fall as the dead rise in Sepulcro. Then perhaps it's time I put them to rest. Take the holy water. Maybe it will be a calming balm for the restless departed. Thank you. No, thank you. You are a blessing in an unusual form. <laughs> Okay, so can we make holy water? I'm assuming we can. Well, if we can, maybe it'll be after we finish the uh, mission. Come on. Okay, so now we can tackle the final cemetery. Which is just around the bend. Yeah. Let's go. All right, horsey, you stay here. Cue the rain. Cue the zombies, and cue the burning of the coffins. Okay, now we, all we need to do is just clear out the graveyard. Huh. It catches others on fire. Whoa!
just got bruised by the bruiser. Where am I shooting? Santa! How we can kill him again! Ha! Look at him! Oh no, it didn't work! Oh, that's not fair. Alright, might as well burn him again. Oh, better yet? Hold still. Burned him again. Man, this is foul. Yeah, because in the main game, if I remember correctly, I think we used a fire bottle on him. Least you can do after trying to eat me. Oh, we can get holy water off of the zombies. Oh, that's how you get more. Okay, okay. So that means you can't build it. You're going to need to uh, loot it. Yeah. Okay, back to Mother Superior. Wait. Is she inside the place or out back? Oh, inside. But we can get. Slow down. Oh, wait a minute. These weren't here before. I was actually going over the door that's just over there around the bend. <laughs> okay, what are you doing, Marston? You're supposed to go forwards, not to the side. There you go. Oh, she's in the church. Hola. Not appear to be in a great hurry. 
great hurry to save humanity. Ay, qué bueno. Señor Marston, how wonderful to see you alive. I think I've cleared Sepulcro. You're a brave servant of righteousness. I've been called many things in my time, but never that. <laughs> Who is that girl, by the way? She? I don't know. She said she was in a holy order in Escalera. I'm sure I keep seeing her. Or someone like her. Maybe. But it is a common enough look. Seemed like a nice girl. She told me something interesting. What's that? She blamed this terrible curse on our soon-to-be president, Abraham Reyes. Perhaps you have heard of him. Heard of him? I know him well. I hope that vain, ambitious, and repugnant parasite is no friend of yours. Not exactly. I didn't think he was that bad. And who am I to judge? Forgive me. I have just heard many unpleasant stories and met too many pregnant and abandoned girls. Of course. But what has he done? She claimed he had angered an ancient goddess, disturbed a crypt and a temple in her honor. <laughs> I mean, as I say it, it sounds like heresy, like the idiotic delusions of a cursed people. But in a land such as this, I have learned to be less dogmatic than maybe I have been instructed. I am sure it is just folly. Perhaps. Well, maybe it's time I go pay El President a visit anyway. I shall pray for you. Someone certainly needs to. Goodbye, Mother Superior. Vaya con Dios, mijo. The Superior Dance. Okay, music.
Well, that was different. Okay, not much left with the game now. Okay, so chances are we are going to be able to finish everything in this episode. Um, as for that one side mission, though, I'm unless we did it, it says filth and other entertainment. Did we already do that side mission? Sound like I can't see from from here. Oh, unless it's under. Oh wait, maybe it's here. Uh, oh wait, no. felt another entertainment. Oh my gosh, we already did it. Whoops, okay, so I forgot to mark that on the checklist. That means we're, we're already done with all the side missions. Okay, we're done with the cemeteries, we're done with all that. Oh, I forgot to sh show the outfits, oh shoot. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're done with that. Alright, so this means we are definitely going to finish the game in this episode. So this is the final episode. Wow. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's head back for a second. I, yeah, I need to show the outfits before we finish the game. But anyways, okay, so since we are definitely going to finish the game in this episode, that means most likely credits. Okay, so here's the thing. Normally I let the credits roll. However... This time, because of the fact we already ran through the credits... Wait, where's... Whoa! Well, what's going on here? I thought this place was safe. Look, it says safe right there. Safe! Game, don't you understand what safe means? Is the town under attack and it's just not registering or something? Whoa. in the world okay this is not good see I need my safe house or oh, wait is there no safe house here wait was there a safe house Doesn't show a safe house. Well, we know this area is safe. How about I just go over there real quick? And that way we can show the, uh, the outfits. But anyways, as I was saying about the uh, credits. So, the thing is, we already saw the credits back when we finished the main game. Now, I'm going to assume that it's going to be the exact same credits here. And if so, yeah, I don't feel like sitting through another... What was it, over a half an hour or something of credits? I can't remember now. Either way, I, I remember the cre credits being lengthy, and I really, really, really don't want to sit through it. So, uh, here's the thing. We'll let the credits roll in the Undead Nightmare until it shows the voices. You know, the cast, okay? Once it shows the cast, you know, as in, you know, who voiced what, then I'll just, if it lets me, I'll skip the credits. Now note, if the credits continue rolling after the cast, then that means I can't skip it. And we'll have to just watch the whole thing. Which I really don't want to do right now. I already sat through them once already. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's how we're gonna we're gonna do that. Alright, what time... Let's save again. Oh no, what? Pacific Union Railroad Camp is lost? Excuse me? Wait, that's what it shows whenever it's lost? You're kidding. It puts the cross upside down. Oh, I don't like that at all. Um, well, we're just gonna have to ignore it. And don't worry, if you lose anything, it, it doesn't uh, go against... You're 100% as long as you've already uh, saved everything. Well, no, I did it back. 
as long as you've saved it, you're good for your 100%. Okay, but the only reason you would need to keep the town saved uh, is only for to keep them all saved once for that one trophy. Once you've gotten the one trophy, and you're you're good. You don't you can just let all the towns get overrun. But um, yeah. Anyways. Okay, this this is good. Let's see, an, an overrun town has lost all of its survivors. You can still clear the town, but you can't bring it. You can't bring back the dead. Well, at least you got to see. Oh, hold on. What's this say? Come under attack by the undead hordes. Wait, what? You know what? Since we're right at the end of the game, yeah, I'm I'm just not caring anymore. <laughs> Uh, it's time to finish this. Let's go. Yeah, because this here is going to basically start the final mission, which will then uh, go. go for a little bit, and then it'll branch into the epilogue. Yeah. Oh my god, I went there to show the outfits, and then... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so occupied with uh, just trying to get to the end of the game here, and uh, I'm talking about the towns. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for the towns, I think I I wouldn't have forgotten the fact I need to show the outfits. Don't worry, no need to scream at the uh, the Whoa. video saying, "Hey, you forgot to show the outfits, you idiot!" I say, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. We're right here. I'm gonna show. Them. Here we go. Let's go. All right. So uh, let's just go through all of them real quick. So here's the cowboy outfit. That's, of course, his default. And, of course, you've already seen the Mexican poncho as well. And of course, you've already seen the duster coat, like, this entire time. <laughs> okay, and, of course, the rancher clothing, you remember from the end of the main game. U.S. Army uniform, we've already worn in this playthrough. Now, Undead Hunter, uh, one of the new ones here. Wait, what's this? You've unlocked the old Holy Relic item. It can be used once per day to refill ammo for your most coveted explodable weapons. Wait, what? Anyways, as for the Undead... What's this called again? Undead Hunter. Wow. Yeah, see, this one here is built more for the epilogue version, which it'll make sense once we get to the epilogue. Yeah, I'll leave the legend last. Okay, so up next is the union suit. Uh, one piece... Oh, wait a minute. I ever read that before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember reading that back when we started. But anyways... Uh, yeah, so here's the outfit, of course, he was wearing at the beginning of the Undead Nightmare. Story. Okay, now for the Legend of the Apocalypse. It says, as a Legend of the Apocalypse, your f uh, phosphorus treatment lasts longer. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Well, I gotta go back to my duster coat. But hey, at least I showed the outfits, just as promised. Alright, let's go. Come on. Come on. Once we get to epilogue, Come on. I'll re-show at least... 
the last two outfits. The, um... Or, well, no. Uh, I meant the last two outfits we unlocked. So, the Undead Hunter and the Legend of the Apocalypse. So, we show those two once we get the epilogue. And, again, it'll make sense once we get there. <laughs> Senora. Donde... Donde is Abraham Reyes? <laughs> Reyes! Stop that! Evil uh. man! <laughs> he always did have a way with the ladies. <laughs> it's okay. He's dead. Thank you, senor. You'll be okay. I'm glad you think so. But I fear I won't. None of us will. We are all doomed. Because of him. Him? He wasn't a great guy, but I'm afraid you're giving him a little too much credit, my dear. Haven't I seen you before? No. He... He, he caused this. With his greed and his lust for power. He heard an ancient myth and tested it. It caused all of these terrible things. His vanity overwhelmed us all. What the hell are you talking about? Where have I seen you? A me? Oh, I have a common enough face. I'm from here. He disturbed the royal burial grounds that lie underneath the town. He heard there was a mask hidden there that would make him invincible. I've heard this blamed on Mexicans? Jewish people, freed slaves, the federal government, immigrants, the bad weather, now this. What's wrong with people? It's true. Look in that chest. He has a sacred mask. That is where this plague came from. Him and his awful lust for power. Where did you say the crypt was? Near the bullfighting ring. Behind the via. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. You must return the mask to its rightful place. Wait here. It's too dangerous. You need me. I know what needs to be done. I, sh I sure hope you're right.
Looks nice in here. A presidential palace should never have been built above a sacred place. Harmony is fragile. The greatest catastrophes occur when you men try to play God. they attacking you? These are your demons, not mine. You really are a strange girl. This is as much a fight against yourself. some protection down here with him. Do not underestimate the power of the mind. Our history can never be silenced. You are only running from yourself. The mask must be returned to its rightful owner. Think of your family. You must not give up now. There is no future without a past. Sometimes we must remember in order to forget. I'll kill 
Every last one of you. This don't look like anything nice. This is as much a fight against yourself. Are a reflection of ourselves. I'm doing you the favor. Underestimate the power of the mind. Our history can never be silenced. Some of them worship the moon, and the brave man has to kill everyone. Hey, that's what Jack was. Who the hell are you? The mask must be returned to its rightful owner. Corridors of our conscience. Think of your family. You must not give up now. Reyes? is all in the mind. Put these troubled souls to rest. Sometimes we must remember in order to forget. Stay dead! Okay then! I got down here when I did. This is not the time for your past healing vanity. Come on, you hell of freak! I do not fear you! I'm doing you the favor! Now come, 
Let's put an end to this. We must do this now. Return the mask. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. How do you know? My name is Ayotioto. Ayotioto. A horse is waiting for you. You should return home. trouble starts, I can pretty much guarantee you'll ride off into the sunset. You feeling better? Yes. I mean, once that boy stopped trying to bite me, everything felt much better. I'm starving, though. Jack? Uh, me? Oh, well, I only felt better once that mad look left your eye. Please, Dad, don't leave me here alone with that woman again. Uh, excuse me? I'll try not to, son. <laughs> Uh, I've heard that before. Uh. Well, let me fix us something to eat. Please don't. We've had enough dramatics for one day. Okay, so wait, what did what did that what did that say? Morrison was buried by his wife and son with a flask of water he seemed to treasure. They did not know of its special power. Now that he comes back or sorry, now he comes back to this earth with the body of an undead wretch. Wait, body of an undead wretch, but the soul of a man. Help him put to rest by finishing his work on earth. Okay, so normally that would be referring to just, you know, finish up all the rest of the stuff uh, for Undead Nightmare. But, as you already saw, we're already 100% done. <laughs> now, this is the part right here where you basically unlock the Death Horse. If you didn't have it prior to this. And now you're stuck with Undead Marston. Instead of regular Marston. 
So yeah, this is why I wanted to have a save before we finish the game. Because Undead Marston's not the same as regular Marston. <laughs> I mean, thankfully it's Marston, but it's not the same. But anyways, yeah, the uh, the water it spoke of must have been the holy water that Mother Superior gave uh, John Marston earlier. But anyways, that was messed up with the ending that Seth grabbed the, uh, the mask again. And that was put in there to explain why in the epilogue there's still zombies everywhere. So basically... They had a few... Wait. Why did that come up and say that was lost again? Oh. Um. They had a few months of peace. A few months of... You know, no zombies and such. However, in terms of Marston... Timeline-wise, he probably only had maybe... Maybe a week or something, <laughs> maybe not even that, uh, between the point whenever he, uh, freed his family from the curse and by the time he actually died. Anyways, this sucks though that we still can't go inside the house, even after finishing everything. <laughs> We still can't go inside the house. That's just not fair. But also, uh, and I don't remember if I said this back in the first episode of the Undead Nightmare here, but one thing that bugged me in the intro cutscene for Undead Nightmare was the fact that before the Undead Plague started, they already had boards on the doors. So if you go back to... Uh, what episode was that when we started Undead Nightmare? That was, um, episode 29. So if you go back to episode 29 when we started Undead Nightmare, and then watch the, the starting cutscene when they're showing inside the house before the plague started, you'll see the boards on the doors, which, yeah, it's, it's silly, stupid, and funny all at the same time. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm actually a little surprised here. I was expecting to actually see credits, but there is no credits. Well, hey, that saves me time, and that's that's great, because, yeah, we already went through the credits in the main game, so <laughs> yeah, I don't need to do that again. Now, as of... Oh, look at that! <laughs> Undead Cowboy. Garr. Uh, Legend of the Undead. Army of... Oh, they changed it! Army of the Undead. Oh! Oh, the other outfits are gone! What? Oh, no! That's messed up! That's totally messed up. Anyways, let's go check out the outfits. Okay, so it's just the three now. That means it's a good thing I showed everything before switching. <laughs> okay, so Army of the Undead. This one technically is the... The Undead Hunter. Yeah, but just renamed. But now you see it fits this version of Marston versus... It didn't really fit him in the other version. I mean, yeah, it could kind of work. I'm not saying it didn't work at all, but I'm just saying that this is what it was more or less uh, built for, as you can see. Okay. And for the Legend of the Undead... Which, of course, now it makes a little more sense with the, uh, the tear on the arm. 
As for a close-up on Morrison's face, let's see if we can do that. Oh, that is messed up. I don't think I ever saw his face up close like this before. If he can put his head back in the right spot. There it goes. Yeah, that, that's screwed up. Wow. I will say, though, there's definitely a lot of detail there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need to save. That's right. Duh. Save game. And that one. Yes. But anyways, we also saw earlier finally get the platinum for the game, so it's like, yes, finally, both the main game and Undead Nightmare, 100%, well, without just that one thing. That's the only thing we didn't finish, but yeah, I'm not going to rant about that one again. Um, but yeah, the main game and Undead Nightmare, fully done, fully complete, 100%, <laughs> full platinum, everything is done. Yes! Alright, so anyways, at this point here, I don't think there's anything left to be able to be, able to be done, actually. Uh, yeah, since it's fully 100% done. Other than, of course, going around, you know, saving more towns, killing more undead. Now, of course, if you left the stuff, uh, like the treasure and the other challenges, then, you know, then you can, of course, work on them at this point. But this is why I wanted to get it all done Wait a minute. Is that supposed to be green? Oh, it did say something about that. Hold on. Tiny season. Hmm. No? I don't know. I don't know what the difference is between the green version and the red version. But anyways, let's just, uh, let's go see... Okay, not with that one. Let's just go to some zombies real quick. I want to test one tiny little thing here. I want to see if they still attack Marston or if they don't. Also, did something just try to pop up on the screen? No. I mean, yes, but it, it, nothing important. Okay, we need just some some zombies. I need to see if they attack Marston. Because this part I actually can't remember. But anyways, yeah, that that's the perfect timing to get the platinum. Just whenever you finish the game like that, you know. That, that was that was great. Absolutely great. Uh I need I need some undead. I need some zombies. But anyways, other than that, I think we've covered everything. I don't I think I'm forgetting anything. I don't think I'm missing anything. Other than the fact I'm missing zombies. <laughs> uh, zombies? Where are you at? Now, I don't want to go to one of the places where we're supposed to kill zombies because obviously, let's say if they are programmed to not attack us anymore. Let's just say if it was that. If we go to a spot where they're supposed to attack us, then yeah, they're gonna attack us. I need to see some zombies out in the wild. And it seems... I'm not seeing any, what the heck? <laughs> 
What, does it go back to like it was back in the beginning of the game? Whenever you finish the game? And you don't see that many zombies anymore? Oh, here we go. Here's a group. Oh, wait. This group's part of this random encounter, though. So they're gonna attack me. I did attack first. Look at this! They're not attacking! Oh wait, no, he attacked. Still, I need a better test. I need some zombies that are not tied to an encounter and just randomly out in the wild. I need to see if they attack us. Wow. Yeah, so if you want to go against zombies for days, don't go to the epilogue. <laughs> uh, unless I'm just having really, 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 really bad luck right now. I, I this, this is amazing, though. When I need a zombie, we can't find a zombie. This is, this is sad. Truly sad. But yeah, it's the last thing I think we need to see slash test for this playthrough. And then that's it. We'll be done. Wait, that's pass one? No. Oh, here we go. Here's here's some zombies. Hiya, friends. How you doing? Okay, so if I walk at a distance, they're ignoring me. I think they'll only attack if I'm right on top of them, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, they're not, like, running... Wait, what happened to the other two? What? They just despawned! Okay, I need... I need a better test. I got a location, but we need to fast travel for it. I got the perfect spot. Which actually, you know what? I should go to this one spot I'm thinking of anyways, just to confirm that the zombies are still massively spawning in this spot, because otherwise... If they're not still spawning in this one spot anymore that we need to go to, then that could be a problem for anyone that would be still trying to go for certain challenges, trophies, and such. Uh, so yeah, just give me a moment here. Hello? Wait, is it that one? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. No. <laughs> Good thing I looked. I always goof up the names. Wait, that one? No. No, it's the other one. What the hey? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I couldn't find it. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. They still spawn. But look at this. They're not rushing uh, to, to try to kill Marston. They're not running on over saying, Oh, we're going to get you. We're going to get you. No, but they're slowly going. So there is a little bit of a bonus with this, uh, this version of Marston. If you do want to have an easier time roaming around, not have to worry about the, the undead constantly running up to you, then the epilogue is for you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know there was a machine gun there. What? And there's a ladder there? Oh my god, I love how I just learned this right at the end of the game. Wait a minute, how did I not see that? Oh, and I was even right here. I should have noticed it. You dingbat! 
Okay, I need to see how... How this looks. Oh my gosh, look at that. Well, you know, I, I still... I still fully say, for that one trophy about mowing them down, use the cannon. Use this cannon right up here. That is the way. Okay, anyways, one more thing. Let me just get up a little closer to these zombies. Now, I know they're going to attack me, but I'm... Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I want to see if they all ru uh, run to Marston as soon as one of them ta attacks. Hey, look! The, the bruiser, he's not attacking us. And neither is the wretcher. Okay, oh, wait, wait, no, okay. Okay, they kind of attack. But still, look at this! This is, this, okay. This is a little neat. I will say this is a nice bonus, even though I want my, my main Marston back. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, okay, it is, it, it's a cool ability. It's a cool ability. But you know what, I will say that... To have this ability is probably the only thing that can be a good compromise to giving up regular Marston to go to Zombie Marston. Alright, let's get rid of these guys and then we'll end. Nice. Wait, what? Where's it at? Oh. Must have somehow passed over like twice. Okay. Yeah, it's just I wanted to end it at home here. Or, well, we should actually go up to the gravesite. Because that's where we should end it. Because that's actually where, well, where we would have ended if I hadn't have need to show the outfits and also test that one theory I had about like wait <laughs> now that we're a zombie all right well anyways Marson he's just gonna watch over his family uh, family's home and that's gonna be it for Marson I just want him to sadly never get to see him ever again which is sad but uh, yeah well anyways that's gonna be it for the final episode uh, of Undead Nightmare and the final episode of Red Dead Redemption which, wow, 37 episodes wow um, and anyways, as for what to look forward next well, you have to tune in and find out whatever our next game is going to be so, yeah anyways, as for this game um, sad to see it go because it's it's a very, very, very just it, it's, it's great, it's, it's a great game you know, it's, it's if I was to give it a rating, I'd probably give it like a, and again, the whole game, the whole game, probably a 9 out of 10. Maybe even 9.5, but I'm not sure, like, which would be best. Uh, the main reason why I don't give it a straight 10 is because of two reasons. Yeah, two reasons. Number one, because it's not perfect in terms of, like, bugs and stuff. The game does have bugs. Even the, uh, the, this, this version, whether, whether you want to call it a remaster or a port, whatever, it still has bugs. The original game had bugs, so, you know, gotta deduct a little bit for that. And as for the other part, um, which is actually more personal, which is with the ending of the, the, the main game, the base game, which is, you know, how they, they killed off Marston, that... I will always hate Rockstar for doing that, you know, for 
them killing off Marston and then having us play <laughs> forcefully play as Jack. And then same thing with the Undead Nightmare here. They kill him off again, but, well, at least they allow us to keep as Marston, but just it's Zombie Marston this time. And, uh, yeah. Now, if they would have allowed us to choose what we want, you know, in terms of the ending, uh, then I would have said, like, right there, okay, definitely 10 out of 10. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, I would say because of the bugs and because of the ending of both versions here, uh, you know, I, I can't, I can't straight up say 10 out of 10. But, uh, yeah, anyways, now if I was going to say what I recommend the game, yes. Especially if you like what you see, yes. If you like open world games, yes. If you like westerns, and all this other stuff, then yes. <laughs> so I can say that. And, um... Yeah, I, okay, I think, I, I think I've covered everything. So I, th I think we can finally, uh, finally end. So, so, yeah, like I said, look forward to whatever's coming up next. And, uh, yeah. But anyways, it's come... Oh, that... Wait. Okay, it just lagged for a second there on my end. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> but anyways, it's gonna be it for this episode. So until next time... Keep on gaming. There's a distance between us. It's getting hard to reach out. Haven't seen you in season. But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down But I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes For quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting down Too broke.